Dean Argent, a university qualified mechanical engineer and I'm the owner of usedvehiclesales.com.au and in this video I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of this cheap and cheerful 2005 Ford Fiesta that I have for sale here on my yard. Now the first thing I want to tell you about this car is that it's manual, it has three pedals and uh, so that makes, if you're an automatic driver this won't, won't be the car for you and it's also only got two doors so just letting you know, they'll normally get asked the question, the main question I get asked with cars like this, is it auto and does it have four doors? No one knows. So now that we've got that out of the way, let me show you all the stuff that's wrong with it. There's a few minor, like the bonnet is in that condition. You can see it, it needs respraying. Now I just traded this car from a lovely young couple who upgraded to a ute so that they could move stuff because she had a horse and that so she'd had it for for several years and had been looked after it she was a school teacher did all the maintenance and all that stuff mechanically the car is smack on uh, because it's been looked after but there are a few blemishes on it now there's one of them another blemish is over here around that wheel arch there i don't know if you can see that dent or not it's minor but hey it's there and i like to be up front so there is something going on there right now that's got all the bad stuff out of the way oh and by the way the car is priced accordingly like that's why i've priced it like i have i've priced it really cheap to take into account those minor things so if you're after a car that's cheap and cheerful but seriously reliable and has got three pedals a clutch pedal uh this might be the car for you you compare it to another car of this year model with these kilometers and you'll see it's the cheapest one out there so um let's go for a look around like all, all down the panels they're all nice and straight there's no sort of paint fade issues or anything going on down here it's just the paint fades just on the bonnet if we come around the back here and have a squeeze everything's looking pretty good there looks like a little car and coming down this side it's all good as well so we'll go around and have a look inside the aircon's icy cold mechanically it's in spot on condition and i'll cover all that off in one sec but um Let's have a look. Here's the um, here's the inside, like into the seats and stuff. Have a look over the back. You can see there. Okay, so that's what we have going on in there. If you have a look in here, you can see we've got the power windows. We've got the uh, where's the kilometers? Where do I put the key? Here it is. Got the key with the central locking, so you lock lock and unlock like that hope i didn't lock myself out <laughs> or lock myself in and uh, let's have a look so you can see she starts through the warm-up routine 188,000 k's on it starts like a dream no ticks knocks noises bangs rattles in the engine all in good condition so over here we've got the radio and all that stuff all the factory radio we've got the five speed like i said icy cold air con and with these weird design there you open the bonnet from over on the left hand side why i don't know <laughs> but you do probably because these cars are popular in other countries and that would be why so um there's a bit of a walk through of this car we'll go have a look in the boot so you can see the boot space like it's not too bad when you drop the seats down there is a bit of space in there like just pop that open just stop because it's a stinking hot day but uh and the phone overheated so anyway i've just got it going again so there's the boot space we'll go around here and i'll open it up and have a look when you um pop these forward oh there's something going on down there that thing's missing but it's in the back i don't know why it didn't put it on but um if you get back here and pull these seats forward like that then there's the space that you're looking for so i oh, actually there's a thing going on here where you can pull the seat forward like that and then drop the back down like that and if I go around here there's the space like plenty of space this thing here just pops out you see the space in there so I mean you're not gonna um, you're not gonna turn it into a seven seater by jamming a few kids in the back <laughs> or maybe you are but um, <laughs> you probably get in trouble for that but you can see the car like it's cheap and cheerful it's a, it's a 2000 it's a late model car being 2005 in good mechanical shape there's a few cosmetic issues that actually aren't all that bad 
but hey they are there and I like to be fully out front and show you everything that's good and bad and nasty with the car well I've showed you all that now let me tell you everything that's good with the car if you're still listening to me and um, here's what comes with it for the price you see it advertised for and I'm sure you'll agree it's cheap first of all it includes all your stamp duties transfer fees government fee plate fee this fee that fee it's all included in the price so it's a drive away no more to pay price the car's got rego out until oh if you scroll up on this page you'll see there or look in the text i forget the exact date but you'll see it there so it includes that rego stamp duties transfer all moved across to your name for all the registration it includes uh, a roadworthy certificate issued by a queensland government approved mechanic it includes it's been through our 140 point uh check there's and like the, i showed you the few things that are that are wrong with it but other than that the car's in mechanically spot on condition make a good car for like a second car to run to or from work or a first car for the kids because if they knock it about a bit probably not going to matter too much um that's the kind of thing so a 140 point check so we go through 140 things on the car and we make sure that everything does what it's meant to do and it does it passed that with a good result like it's got exceptional mechanical report on this car it's just been serviced so you won't need to do any scheduled maintenance for the next 10,000 kilometers or the next six months whatever comes first and it's guaranteed not written off and guaranteed no money owing on it so the car's clean so there you have this 2005 uh, Ford Fiesta two-door that I have